The objective of this practice is to make a sound multi-pass fillet weld on a T-joint in the overhead position. Follow the general procedure steps. Use proper protective clothing and tools. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Position two plates on the table to form a T-joint and make strong tack welds at each end of the joint. And then clamp the workpiece in the overhead position a few inches above eye level. Start at the left and angle the electrode 40 to 45 degrees away from the vertical plate and then 5 to 10 degrees in the direction of travel. Deposit the root bead with a back and forth whipping motion. Do not move too far out of the molten pool. Move one diameter forward and then one half diameter back. When the root pass is complete, thoroughly remove the slag. To prevent an excessive buildup of heat, cool the workpiece in water after every second or third pass. Be sure to alternate sides of the joint to prevent distortion. For the second bead, center the electrode over the lower toe of the root bead. Then angle it 50 to 55 degrees away from the vertical plate. Use the whip and pause motion and overlap by about two-thirds. Clean off all the slag and cool the workpiece in water. Then weld the opposite side of the joint in the same manner. For the third bead, center the electrode over the upper toe of the root bead, then angle it 30 to 35 degrees away from the vertical plate. Deposit the bead in the same manner as the second pass but be sure to overlap the second bead by one-third. When the third bead is complete, clean off all the slag, cool the workpiece in water, then call the instructor to inspect it. The finished weld should have a smooth, even face with equal legs about three-eighths to one-half inch long. For additional practice, weld a second T-joint, tack weld the pieces together with an additional plate, and then weld the additional joints.